G'day guys, Ben from Ozziac here to bring you another video. This one is going to be looking at my medium bait rig. So I tend to find with, with kayak fishing guys, there's not a lot of room on your kayak for tackle boxes and all kinds of gear and you don't really have the time or the opportunity to retie rigs because that's just going to burn a lot of your minutes on the water. So what I like to do is I like to pre-tie rigs and keep them in small little ziplock bags and I keep a lot of this kind of gear in my centre hatch. And that way if the fish aren't wanting to play the game on that day then I can change my rigs around and adjust my techniques to suit the fish that are around and therefore increase my chances of bringing home a fish. Okay guys, now we're going to look at my uh, medium rig or my sort of inshore rig. And this is more orientated around the bigger trevally, the bigger brim, the um, bigger flathead or if I'm going to go outside, I might even use this to target some of the sort of species you tend to find hanging around the, the river mouth or in the, the shallower reef areas, even sort of small snapper or so on. So I'm, what I'm going to use here is, um, in this case, it's 16 pound Berkeley uh, fluorocarbon vanished trace. And I find this, this works really well. Okay, so we've got a little over a meter there. I'm going to start off with a, with a swivel. So this makes it very easy for me to change my rigs. And I'm just going to use a, a blood knot on this end. I want to keep my gear nice and light if I can. Going to all out. Okay, I like to keep my tags nice and small. Radio. So the next thing I'm going to add on to my uh, my rig is one of these easy rigs. You can pick these up from some of the department stores or some of the tackle shops. They only cost. A very small amount of money, like cents really. And what this enables me to do, I still have effectively a running rig, like so. And I have the ability to change my sink car to suit the current and the conditions. So at the slack of the tide, I'm only going to want a fairly light sink car. But um, once there's a bit of run, whoops, I might want to change up to, uh, to something a bit heavier. Um, I like to keep my sinkers as light as possible because uh, a heavy sinker is going to let the fish know this uh, all is not right. But um, you need enough current, enough uh, lead to hold the uh, the bait in position in the current, and let it move around freely. So the presentation of the bait is really what it's all about and that presentation needs to be pretty natural okay here we go so I've got some uh, fluoro beads on the end and I'm just going to finish the rig off with uh, a 2-0 hook so again I like to keep my, my stuff pretty simple pretty um, sort of utilitarian and that way I can um, change up to suit the conditions but I like to keep a few of these rigs on me so if I've got a bit of bait and I know something's around that I might want to change my rigs for then I've got something I can I can match the, uh, the fish with okay so and I find this rig works really really well I'll carry um, usually four to six of these rigs on my kayak or uh, maybe one or two in my life jacket as well. Um, especially if that's the sort of fish that I'm targeting on the day. Um, 
and I'll retie these rigs pretty much from scratch every um, four to six weeks, uh, depending on how much and how frequently I'm going out. I'm not going out kayaking for the next probably a few weeks, so it might be another um, a couple of months before I retie my rigs in this case. But um, you need that. Uh, even inside a Ziploc bag, you still want to get a bit of exposure to salt and stuff. So um, I tend to find that once you start getting a bit of rust on these hooks and stuff, um, you never know how much that's going to affect your, your strike rates and stuff. So I like to keep my gear as, as top much as I can. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to be building my YouTube channel with an average of two videos per week eventually covering all sorts of topics on kayak fishing from reviews of gear, reviews of kayaks, location reports, even hook and cook type uh, ideas for you. I'm looking forward to any comments or suggestions you might have. Please leave a comment below or you can message me directly through YouTube. If you liked the video, please like it. Please feel free to share this video on other social media such as Facebook or uh, Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines and stay safe.